Aloha guys, my name is Chris McDonald. I'm a professional beach volleyball athlete, amateur cyclist, and 2022 USA bobsled hopeful. I'm here today to give you guys a 15 to 30 minute workout that you can do at home with next to no equipment. Something that's gonna fulfill your needs and get you guys moving. I started my fitness journey back in 2008, a few years ago now, but it was something that was amazing and changed my life forever. I fell in love with the game of beach volleyball and wanted to pursue it as a profession. Therefore, I wanted to ramp up my fitness and get physically fit, not only perform like an athlete, but look like one as well. Today, I'm gonna to give you a workout and it's some stuff that I did to get in shape for my volleyball season and for my professional athletics. All right, guys, first we're gonna get into some dynamic stretching, then we're gonna get into a mild warm up, and then let's get going and work out. All right. First dynamic stretch of the day is going to be pulling our knee up to our chest. We're going to interlock our fingers, grab one side, two to three seconds, pull up, keep our posture nice and upright, and then we're going to switch sides. Here, pull up, keep that toe pointed up to the sky, and then other side as well. We're going to do that five times each side, and then we're going to go on to the next workout. Loosening up the glutes, opening up our hips. We're going to really stretch our torso out. We're also going to stretch some quad as well. So this one, we're going to go same side. Opposite hand reaches to the sky, just like this. Left hand to the sky, right hand on right leg. And we're going to tippy toe up to the sky. Ugh, nice and stretch. Again, we're going to do the other side. Right hand up, left hand grabs left leg. Keeping our posture nice and upright. Ugh, tippy toe up to the sky. This is what it looks like from the side. Again, I do these dynamic exercises and stretches about five times on each side. Notice I'm always keeping my posture nice and upright. Shoulders are always pinched back. And I'm trying to stretch everything up into the sky, really get those muscles nice and loose. That's what it looks like from the side. Next we're going to go into some overhead walking lunges. Nothing too strenuous and there's a few modifications as well. So I like to keep everything, like I said, stretching upright. So I'm going to karate chop my hands up to the sky, left leg forward, my posture is nice and upright. Stretching out so I can get both legs at a 90 degree angle. Then I'm coming back up and I'm just taking a body length step forward in the same motion. Right, this is what it's going to look like from the side. So again, I'm nice and upright. Everything's pinched back, shoulders are pinched back. Stepping forward with my left leg. I'm getting that nice bend so I can go 90 degrees. Okay, now I'm coming back up. Take that natural body length step. Everything's nice and taut, nice and tall in the sky. Bend, light touch with our back knee. Back up, okay? Now I said there were some modifications. Right, not everyone can go at that 90 degrees. So then we do this. Arms forward, okay? So I'm robot, arms forward, and I get a nice, just a little bend, but I go twice, right? I'm really activating those muscle fibers, I'm getting them firing, ready to roll. Here, two, okay? Slight bend, 
not 90 degrees, right? We're not out here where we're going 90 like we were when we were doing our upright. We're going straight out front so we can keep our posture nice and tall, nice and tall, nice and taut. And then we're just doing a boom, boom, double tap, okay? Just like we do on my Instagram photos, right? Boom, boom, double tap. All right, guys, the last dynamic stretch and warm up that I like to do for my legs are opening up those hips, right? So not all of us can get to this area right away. Boom, where our back is nice and straight and our hips are wide open, right? Not all of us can do that. Not all of us can do this, right? There's all kinds of modifications and I'm gonna show you how. So first thing that I'm gonna do, if your hips are open and mobile enough, I want you guys to get down in this position our elbows are going to go on the inside of our knees. We're going to grab our toes and then we're going to come up five times. So our hips come up first. Our booties to the sky. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Now, like I said, if you can't open up those hips and keep that posture nice and tall, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get nice and uh, in that nice athletic stance. Our elbows are still inside, but we're just going to grab our kneecaps or our shins. Okay, depends on how low you can go. Again, up one. I'm trying to keep my back as straight as possible. I don't have crazy flexible hamstrings, so this is pretty difficult for me. One more. Good, so that's how we warm up, and those are the modifications you can do to really get nice and loose. Open up those hips, loosen up those hamstrings. All right, now comes the fun stuff, right? Now we can get into a little bit of the exciting exercise. It's not anything intense right just yet, but we're gonna get warmed up and get all those muscle fibers firing and ready to go, right? The more awake your body is, the better you'll do in your workout. First thing I do, simple, high knees. Keep your hands right at the waistline here, and we're gonna try and tap, 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 tap our knees, okay? So our toes, again, are always gonna try to point up. I don't always do that, but I try my best. Right, and I want you guys to do the same. Okay. I'm going to go the other side. Do that twice, down and back. And then next thing we do, butt kickers, right? Keep our hands nice on our booties here, and then our heels are going to touch our butts, okay? So nice upright posture. And then we're going to go back again. Again, I do that same thing, two times down and back. Nice small space, nothing large, right? But we're really getting those muscle fibers going. Next thing I do, again, for my hamstrings and loosening up my hips. I don't always have the greatest mobility when it comes to my hamstrings, so my knees are gonna be slightly bent. But if you're flexible and you have the capability to reach out and touch those toes with a nice straight leg, more power to you, awesome, okay? You'll be coaching the next video. So we're going to go opposite hand, opposite foot, right leg, I'm sorry, right hand is going to try to touch the left foot. Here, boom, next side, boom, next side, boom, another one, boom, one more just for good measure over here. Now we're going to go back and do the same thing, opposite hand, opposite leg, opposite hand, opposite leg, opposite hand, opposite leg, opposite hand, opposite leg, okay. Again, we go down and back two times, get those hips and hammies real loosened up, and then I gotta show you another one. Last one, just to loosen the hips up, and it also feels real good to get a little bit of a stretch in there, okay? We don't wanna do any static stretching before our warm up, or I'm sorry, before our workout, but what I like to do is I like to grab onto a post, or something sturdy that's not gonna move, and then I'm gonna swing my leg with my toe up, okay? And my toe's gonna be pointing to the sky like this. We'll go at this angle for you. Again, grabbing onto something nice and sturdy. I'm staying 90 degrees, close to the pole. Boom, just like that. I'm in with, or in line with the pole. I'm gonna kick it back and forth. About 10 times. Five, six, posture's nice and upright. I'm trying to be as straight as this pole. Okay, and we're gonna go the next side. You can stay on this side if you want, but this opens up two things. Not just your hips, 
but also your chest. That's why I'm staying 90 degrees just like this, and I'm opening up my posture and keeping myself nice and upright, okay? So again, 90 degrees, boom. Look, I'm stretching my chest, right? I'm not just here like this and then swinging my hips. I'm here 90 degrees, boom. I'm trying to keep myself nice and upright, and then I'm gonna go the leg that's closest to the post or whatever you're grabbing onto. Okay, so time to boom. Two. Right here, I'm opening up my chest. As the leg's coming up, the chest is getting stretched as well, and you'll feel it. I think this is seven, eight, nine, good. All right, guys. I'm sweating a little bit. I got a nice little warm up here. Let's get on and get working out. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a mild warm up slash exercise right now. So, I don't like to do anything standard typically, right? I don't like to do the jumping jacks but I do like to get the blood flowing I do like to get you moving so we're gonna do cross jacks boom like this so your legs are gonna follow your arms right or arms follow the legs vice versa right I'm out straight always nice and tall posture when I'm doing my movements okay same thing for you we're gonna try to go about 15 seconds here we'll start in two one Notice I'm staying tall the whole time. I'm doing these cross jacks, right? I know it looks kind of goofy. I know it looks kind of funny, but you're gonna be nice and loose. You're gonna be nice and warm for a sweet workout. We're gonna get moving today, guys. All right, time, good. So, again, we go our legs and our arms follow each other. Cross, boom, cross, boom, just like that, okay? Next, we're gonna do little squat jumps. If you can't do squat jumps, no problem. I want you to bend and up, bend and explode up, right? Whole time I'm trying to keep the back nice and tall. But for those of you that can do the squat jumps, let's do it and get our knees up to our hips, okay? We're gonna do about 10 of them. Ready? We're gonna do that rapid pace. We gotta go, go, go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we just rest. But I like to move. I like to. I like to be active, no matter what I'm doing. Okay. My rest is active. Okay. A couple seconds here. About ten second rest. Usually what I like to do keep my heart rate up, but not too high, right? Not spiking. Here we go, another 10. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, and rest. Another 10 to 15 second rest. Still moving around. Don't want anything to get tight and locked up. So I keep it loose, I'm moving, okay? guys I'm staying on these legs one of my strongest points the best athletic exercises to do all come from the legs all come from the hips and the glutes okay we're gonna do some squats now we're gonna do 10 okay I'm gonna do 10 here I'm gonna jump do 10 here then I'm gonna jump and do 10 here you're gonna do it with me okay 10 normal squats just like this ready three two one go Oh. Nice and tall chest. My chest is open. My hips fall back into a seated position. And jump. Boom. Facing you. Now we do 10 again. Okay? Feet flat to the floor. Good. And we'll take a rest. 
Now I know this is a home workout and we don't have any necessary, we don't necessarily have any equipment, right? But everybody's got something to sit on, right? Everyone's got a couch, everyone's got a chair, everyone's got a curb outside, some stairs maybe. So what I'm gonna have you guys do is take your chair or whatever you'd like to step on and we're gonna do some step ups, okay? Everything's nice and tall, everything's nice and tight. Shoulder blades pinch back, take my left leg, set my rock on the chair, and then drive forward slightly, and come up to the ceiling. Drive forward, up. We're gonna keep it on the chair. Two, three, four, five. Good. Now we're gonna switch sides, okay? Five each leg. Here. trouble with your squat, your hips are too tight and you just can't go very low. A perfect example of a perfect squat would be you coming out of a chair, right? Think about it like this. You can't keep your posture nice and upright and then try and get out of a chair, right? So what we want to do, lean forward, our chest is slightly over our thighs, our shoulders, knees, and toes are all aligned and tracking properly and then we're just going to stand up for down, lean forward, but everything's in a line, right? Look, if I drop my shoulders over the top of my knees, my arms are in line, right? I have this line where the center of mass is. And now you squat perfect, because you're perfect. All right, guys, now we're gonna work on a little upper body. First thing we're gonna do are some dips. Got my towel here, lay it down on the chair. I'm going to start with my butt just on the edge of the seat here. My hands are going to clasp on the side of the chair, just like so, both sides equally. I'm going to step out so my butt is coming off the chair. You can do it with knees bent or you can do it with legs straight up to you. I'm going to start with knees bent and our elbows are going to go, I'm sorry, my upper arm from my shoulder down to my elbow are going to go to 90 degrees. Come back up. Okay. a little tired, use a little bit of legs and hips, help yourself, nine, ten, good, let me sit back out and take a rest, okay, all right guys, now that we did that and our triceps are on fire, we're going to keep it going and we're going to do chest, okay, we're going to do that a slight incline here, so it's not as difficult as being flat on the floor, but we are going to do some that are flat on the floor, so get ready, again, I'm clasping the sides of the chair, or curb, or step, whatever you're you're on right now. So I'm gonna keep my posture nice and straight, right? Like I'm an arrow, okay? Then I'm gonna go down and get my chest as close to the chair as possible, or as close to whatever you're leaning on as possible, okay? The whole time I'm keeping my butt cheeks squeezed together, my glutes are squeezed, and I'm going down for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. All right, now that we've done those incline push-ups, I'm gonna lay flat on the floor. I'm gonna lay my towel out, and we're gonna do some push-ups on the floor, okay? Right. Got the towel laid out nice and flat here. Then I'm gonna get nice and flat, okay? Straight as an arrow. If you can't do it on your toes, no big deal. You can always do it on your knees, but we're gonna make sure we're not doing these, okay? We don't want to do these guys. We want to be nice and long, okay? Just like this, if we're on our knees, you can touch your legs and leave them straight together. And we're going to go down to 10. Just like this. Notice in all my exercises, I pause slightly at the bottom and then I explode up to the top, right? Why? Because I'm being nice and controlled, okay? So now I'm going to do a standard push up. We're going to do 10, then we're going to get going on to the next exercise. We're going to do three sets of all this stuff. Ready? Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Alright, 
Now that we've done a little bit of that upper body, we're going to work on our core, right? The sexy muscle, every, the thing everybody wants, okay? So we're going to lay down flat on our towel, surface. Now we're going to cross our right leg over our left. We're going to bring our opposite elbow over our head, under our neck, and then to the knee, okay? We're going to go here, to the knee. Your crunch. You can keep your hand flat on the side. Feel those abs flex, whatever you want to do. Okay, we're going to do 10 each side. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to switch. Here. Next ab exercise, we're going to do that three times, and we're going to move on to our next ab exercise. It's going to be hands under the butt, just like so. Then we're going to keep our legs up, heels to the sky, shoot our butt up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax for a second. Doing that exercise three times each. All right. Next exercise is going to be Russian twist. Okay. So we're going to keep our legs across. Hands locked. I'm going to tap each side. Okay. So we're going to do one uh, tap both sides, and that's one. Okay. So that's one. Two. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We're going to do that three times each as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick home workout. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, on my Instagram is at Team Chris McDonald. And also, you can find more exercises at Neurogum on Instagram. Please reach out to either of us if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything. And always remember to enjoy your neurogum. Aloha.